Hello. During this time of social isolation during the COVID-19 crisis, I'm going to record one coding bat problem a day and post it to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to start off on the Python under warm up one with sleep in, and hopefully I don't get through every problem on this wonderful resource. So let's dive in. So we're going to work through this problem called sleep in, and we can see that it takes two parameters. Um, first parameter is called weekday, and the second parameter is called vacation. You can see I've pasted a bunch of code in there already, and that's because I'm going to go through a couple ideas. So let's start by reading the problem. So the parameter weekday is true if it is a weekday, and the parameter vacation is true if we are on vacation. We sleep in if it is not a weekday or we're on vacation. Return true if we sleep in. The next thing it's always good to do is to take a look at the actual examples. So this first example, we see that the function sleep in is called and it passes false to weekday and it passes false to vacation. So since it is not a weekday and we are not on vacation, we can't sleep in. If we look at the second example, it is a weekday and we are not on vacation, therefore we cannot sleep in. And in the third example, we see that it is not a weekday and we are on vacation, therefore we can sleep in. So we're going to start off with a longer approach. And I have this question here. It says, does anyone see a pattern in the output here, which we'll address in a second. So essentially what, what is really nice to notice here is because weekday and vacation are Booleans, that means they can only be true or false. And that means we can map out every single possibility. And to do this, we write a truth table, which I've written here. And we see that we could have all our possibilities are false, false, which would return true, false, true, which would return true, true, false, which would return false, and true, true, which would return true. Now, beyond this problem, a nice skill to develop is how to quickly write out these truth tables. And if you're writing a two variable Boolean truth table, I always recommend writing it this way, false, false, true, true, and then false, true, false, true. And if you do that, you get all the possibilities. And furthermore, a lot of people will write it out in the same way. So it makes it easy to work with other people. So what we can do in this situation is we can code for every possibility. And that's what we have right here. So essentially, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say if weekday is false and vacation is false, I'm going to return true. And that's our first situation. If weekday is false and vacation is true, we return true. That's our second situation. If weekday is true and vacation is false, we return false, and that's our third situation. And finally, if weekday is true and vacation is true, we return true, which is our third situation. And if I hit go, it works. Now this, by no means, is the best approach. Um, what it does do, though, is it shows a way to practice these different practice writing conditional statements. All right, so now let's look at a slightly better approach. And up here I said, does anyone see a pattern in the output here? And, and what the pattern that you might notice is that, well, it's not a pattern as much as we only return false in one single situation. So what I can do is I can check for that single situation and if that single situation is true, I can return false, and in every other case, return true. And that's what we've done in this shorter approach. So let's uncomment it. So what have we done? Well, because we have only one situation that's going to return false, we just check for that single situation and return false if that's the case, else we return true. And this works. Now, a little recommendation here. Remember, when I re reach a return statement in a function, the function stops reading. It just returns the value and goes back to where it was. So it doesn't read anything past that. So I actually don't need to put an else here. And often you'll see people code it in this way, where they'll just put a, a return at the end to catch all. I always recommend this approach specifically for those of you who are interested in programming in Java. Python is actually really forgiving if you don't reach a return statement. Java is not. So. Even though this approach is valid, I prefer to do this, where I have a return statement, not inside an else, just after the if statement. Because if we enter this if statement, the function is not going to go move on past here. So now let's, let's use a little coding trick here, and let's optimize this a little bit. 
In fact, I've already done that here in optimization one. So we can see down here in optimization one, I've done exactly what I just talked about. Should have probably prepared for that. And we can see what I've done is I've actually taken rid of the else and I've made this, I'll actually break this else back there, is we've just put this catch all return down at the bottom. All right, let's look at optimization two. Now with this problem, what I really take note of is the fact that it returns a Boolean. And remember, these if statements are Boolean expressions, meaning they evaluate to true or false. And what I can notice is that if this Boolean evaluates to true, I return false. So what I can do is I can shortcut this. Now, I'm gonna change it slightly before I give you the right answer. So what I've done is I've taken the one situation that, which is right here, and we see that if this statement is true, we return false. So all I do is I write the Boolean statement inside the return statement, but everything's wrong. And the reason why everything is wrong here is because it's actually inverted. If this is true, we return false. So what I can do is I can not this. So by writing not in front of this is I invert it. So now when I run it, if this evaluates to true, it's going to not true, which becomes false, so it will return false. And if this evaluates to false, it will not false and become true and return value. I hope this helped, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day.